The first special test that we'll be performing is called diaphragmatic excursion. It looks at how much your diaphragm moves from maximal inspiration to expiration. It can be a sign of pleural fusions, pneumothorax, or diaphragmatic paralysis when the diaphragm does not move as much as you'd expect. First, you'll want to ask your patient to maximally exhale. Sure, if you'll do that for us. And hold that expiration. Then you'll want to percuss down the rib cage until you hear dull sound. Approximately here. Now, Shrey, take a deep inspiration and hold that. You can see that the dullness has changed to approximately five centimeters lower. This is a sign of good diaphragmatic movement. You'll want to do this on both sides to ensure symmetry. Our next special test is called forced expiratory time, and it's to look for airflow obstruction in diseases like COPD or asthma. You'll want to be listening over the trachea with the bell of your stethoscope. First, you'll be listening to a normal cycle of inspiration and expiration. Trey? Okay. Then you'll want them to take a deep inspiration, as deep as they can, and then an expiration of as much air as they possibly can. Shrey, if you'll do that for us, take a deep inspiration. You'll want them to do this with their mouths open. 